What it is, what it is, y'all already know, man. Goon City TV, we got you back in the trenches. That's right, we here with the binoculars out in the trenches. Some of your favorite drillers, some of your favorite neighborhoods, some of the ongoing beef. Word in the trenches, man. We got it all right here for you guys, and we're here to put you in the insides, fill you in with what's going on, man, and get you with the content in case y'all missed out. Y'all already know one thing for the channel help the channel out, it's free no charge it's just a good deed from your side hit the like button real quick thumbs up man help us out help us continue to you know develop and also bring more stories from the trenches for you guys like 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 let's go we over here we over here man with otv and we know the ongoing beef that's going on with them and 65 little mike little mike unfortunately was gunned down a couple weeks ago week ago or so man he took a headshot actually they're saying he was shot in the eye um yeah man this shit is sad bro okay. check on y'all people man got a 21 year old male shot in the head and a female shot in the head unfortunately she was just pronounced deceased and it was kids in the car too man that shit is so down. That shit crazy, bro. All that blood right there. Prayers to the family, man. Check on y'all people. Fortunately, though, he survived, and now the OTB members are kind of clowning on him, putting all these memes, and kind of, you know, making fun of him, saying he's wooski slow now putting pictures of you know different characters um from you know movies to car uh, cartoons and such where you know they got an eye patch or such on man and you know otv is now being labeled as one of the dirtiest unloyal snakes back door backstabbing do not trust these guys type of set man you know when there was with 800 man they was tied up with 800 and tj was alive man it seems like you know they was cool with 65 little mike but ever since little tj passed on he passed away it seems like they turned their back and for some reason they had some jealousy over 65 little mike and they're saying you know this was kind of otv's work Yo ass, yeah. yo ass ain't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, for real. I ain't nah, you was gonna point. Nothing we don't lie, ain't you know. But you, you, you know the real. Point. You was on point, but you know. I was gonna say you know the real. Hey, but my father, my father trying to play. You know, my father trying to hoop all, all, all after that. All, all after that. that. My father doesn't know nothing. Let's talk about all after that. Though. Yeah, and my father was ducking us. On what, Lil Pat? I was back in that rack. I was that rack for like a week like, straight. People a little, a little, on the a little every bird, day. a little birdie told me that. So damn, that shit crazy, bro. All so that if you were able right to catch there. on that live, that was the OTV members, man. They was pretty much laughing and clowning in the situation, and uh, you know the scene when it happened to 65 Little Mike a couple weeks ago, man. So. We're going to keep you guys updated with what's going on with OTV and why it seems like now they're beefing with Lil Mike when, of course, we know back in the day when Lil TJ was alive. Lil TJ, 65 Lil Mike was cool. I would always see them on live. They was the ones that was out there trolling against uh, Lil Jeff and such. I don't know what happened. I guess, you know, where in the trenches is that OTV feels like 65 Lil Mike set up and dropped the location of Lil TJ, and now they had to get a get back on 65 Lil Mike. Teach him how it feels, but who knows, man? I don't know. We're gonna try to get it all solved out for you guys. Hit the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. How you guys feel about OTV? What do you guys heard? How you guys felt about 65 Lil Mike now taking on a squad that he thought was with him, but not really. Hey, man, it be like that, you know. 
Also, don't miss out on my latest upload. I got NLMB, Juvie Ju, talking about he's waiting for Cairo to be released so they can get that get back on the Venezuelan gang members out there in Chicago, man. It's unfinished business. Y'all didn't see that upload? Go to my latest uploads. Go check out that one, man. NLMB's not done with the Venezuelans up in Chicago. Go check out that one. And of course, remember to lock in your comment, subscribe, and of course, be on the lookout for the next uploads, man. We got more on the way. We got more for the evening. Y'all already know this is just a quick one to get out real quick. Salute, salute to everybody, man. Hope y'all enjoying y'all Tuesday. And catch you guys on the next round. I'm out.